posted it. Oh, I'm so annoyed with this. Um, so I made, I don't know if I posted it, but there is a video, I think, where I'm talking about my stretch marks and how I'm just now starting to become more comfortable with them. And the only reason why, because like, it's my, oops, really, your fur is everywhere. The only reason why is because as I'm losing more weight, obviously, like, if you have stretch marks and you lose weight, you start to see more of them because, well, at least in my case, I'm starting to see a lot more of my stretch marks that I had. But again, you guys, it's my skin and there's really nothing I can do about it except for love my skin. My stomach, you guys, looks really bad. Let me show you. They're kind of just everywhere. I have stretch marks over like 90% of my body. I have them on my legs, like by my knees. I have some right here. I mean, but hey, this is my body as it's deflating. Brody, <laughs> worked at Whole Foods. <laughs> I used to work at Whole Foods and I met one person who came in, like he, he buried his dad two years before for diabetes complications. He had buried his mother and then he just buried his older brother. And he said they were all obese and they just, they just couldn't get their nutrition right and they didn't want to do anything about it and then they died. He would say that, cause he came in a lot and he, Brody, I'm trying to tell a sentimental story. He would come in a lot and he would say, dude, no. He would come in a lot and um, he would say that, you know, he would rather pay for really expensive vegetables than pay for a funeral or pay for, he came in a lot and he said he would rather pay for fruits and vegetables than a really expensive doctor bill. And I agree. Um, and if I can prevent, if I can prevent myself from, I don't know, getting anything that, or prevent myself from any complications that, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Do you guys know what I'm trying to say? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm just trying to eat healthy and support my body from the inside out. I try to eat 80% whole foods and then 20% shit. And by shit, I mean, I have my, Oreos, Reese's peanut butter cups, potato chips, and fried chicken addiction. And that's okay because I only have fried chicken. I only have fried chicken. I only have fried chicken like a couple of times a year. But other than that, I eat pretty healthy. I am trying to just not really focus on food though as I work out. And I know that sounds really strange because the majority of your weight loss comes from the food you eat in conjunction with your working out. And I, again, discovered that I have this really strange issue with food and trying to not, hmm, have a really strange issue with food and food restriction, that's it. And, it turns into such a headache for me. So I don't really do intermittent fasting. I don't do um, restrictive eating. I don't do intuitive eating. I just make sure to eat. I mean, I just try to. I just try to eat smart and not impulsively. And it's really hard because I'm an impulsive person. And sometimes, you know, when I don't meal prep, I just go to the vending machine or. I just get a burger from wherever, and I'm okay with that. Right now, I'm totally okay with that. But, my mental health is at stake also. Because sometimes, you guys, a couple months ago, I was doing intermittent fasting, and I freaked out, and I didn't eat for three days, because I was just like, oh my god. I, I have this issue with numbers, and the number, I don't worry myself anymore. I stopped weighing myself, and I have like OCD when it comes to numbers and then when it comes to like weight loss and like calories I had to make sure that I had to make sure that it ended in whatever it was if it was me counting calories for the day if it didn't end in an even number I got pissed and I don't know why but it just happened and then if when I did weigh myself if it didn't end in an even number then I, I would just I would just get so worked up and it was just really bad and 
it's insanely unhealthy. So I stopped doing it and I've been happier ever, ever since. And I, you know, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna pick it up again because I don't know, I'm just, I, I want to be healthy, I really do, but I don't want to be to the point where I'm not eating a burger because of X, Y, and Z, or I'm turning my nose up at a steak and fries because, oh, no, I can't. It's 7.30 and I'm not allowed to eat after seven. Like, I can't do that, I can't do that. I can't restrict myself. I'm an adult and I don't have willpower. I don't even think it's willpower, it's just I don't wanna do that. Like, when you watch YouTube or you watch the people on Instagram and you see them and you see their body and you're like, yes, that is what I want. But then you don't know their mental state and you don't know how, what they did to get there. And although you're watching them work out, like what have, do you know if they had like, I feel like some people, there's this person, I'm not gonna name them, but I'm pretty sure she has butt implants and she does butt videos and it's just like, and then like all the people who like, do you know if these people have, have had work done? And I feel like if you try to emulate someone else's life without really knowing how or who they who they really are, then you just set yourself up for failure. There are people walking by looking at me talk to my phone. Brody, I want to kiss your face. I love you so much. You guys, I love my dog. I love him. He has allergies, so look at my face. God, ah! Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, I have to take a shower. This is gross. Anyways. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you think Brody's cute, go ahead and subscribe to see him in the next video. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. Bye.